good morning good afternoon good evening i don't know what time you're watching this or you'll be watching this um but i just have some few pointers to point out and i want to go straight to the point i don't want to take you people in circles eh? At, uh, i don't know 2023 to go straight to the point <laughs> uh i've been having a flu for several days but i'm slowly getting better I don't know why I'm so allergic to so many things, especially when it comes to easy homa homa kidogo kidogo. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I, I thought it's only been touch at 2022, but it seems like ni mebe bana to 2023. So I, I even wrote some, some down so that I don't get to forget. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> know when to cut people off eh? know when to cut people out of your life I will tell you rusa. Una, una when uh, respect is no longer served your peace of mind mental health is a real is a big deal out here what on a commit suicide ukunje cut that post out yani walk out of that shitty uh, working environment you cannot be surrounded by toxic co-workers to a toxic boss and just because that you have to put food on the table, as more familiar to the point that you commit suicide. We saw we saw DJ, this DJ who committed suicide from Capital FM. And Aliandika ka point kuna some co workers when they are just pain in the ass. Any walk out. Walk out. Kuna kazi mingi sana kunje zina kungojea. Kuna watu wenye wako kwa makazi kuna wafanya ata whatever took them there. They are so lazy. Ata wa jika zili wapeleka uko. Iyo kazi niwe inangojea. Wacha kufumilia that toxic boss. Walk out. Wacha kufumilia your shitty boyfriend. Walk out. Stop familiaring your, your cheating husband. Just walk out. Wacha kufumilia that nesist. That short, uh, short kisi woman. <laughs> wacha. We only wacha na watu toxic. No, no, no when to walk out and no when to cut people off. I will tell you kuomba rosa. This is 2023. Your peace of mind should be your top priority. Another pointer is like you should learn to love yourself. This is something that like uh, I've struggled with. Learn to put yourself first. I've always put other people first. Mtu hata unaweza nipigia hata saa 7 ya usiku hata saa 8 nimelala katikati ya usingizi mtu aniambie, "Oh, nimelala njaa sina chakula. Mimi huyu I don't even care how much I have." Din 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 kwa fuliza. Chukua hiyo itakusaidia hapa na pale. I don't even care whether your case is genuine or not. I've been all out there putting myself last, uh, like watching over everyone but myself. And this year is my year. Yes, baby. <laughs> so, learn uh, to love yourself and put yourself first. I know the Bible says, like, um, we put God first, uh, your neighbor second, then you come last. But you see, users users have no shame they will use you to the last to, to, to the last bit of yourself even oh, you you wouldn't be breathing but they'll still want to get something out of you <laughs> i'm just saying this it's true the problem with takers they they have no shame and how i say my oh Nimemuomba sana huu mtu acha nimwache mtu akuomba omba atakuomba kushinda kiwete wa Tanzania kila siku yana kuomba tu ana kuomba ana kuomba ana kuomba yani akukamwomba kwa baki zero so learn to put yourself first love yourself first cuz hawezi kuwa tu wewe una give una give una give una give una jisahau giving is a good thing i am a proud um, giver it has always been my mantra i know like nabarikiwa because natoa but uh, it gets to a point that now people start misusing your kindness. Una umtu una mkasa saba ya usiku kufulizi ya mtu alafu na muona. Hame po status. Hey kesho siko jo ni kulala fo. Like a rapiga shara. Yeah. Ana kulimo pombe pale enye wewe you don't even drink. You don't even smoke. Yeah. Yo pesa inge saidi ya needy person. But to live career when you need you come say idea. Of which I'm not telling you to stop helping people. Help people, but uh, look for genuine cases. Angaleo mtu ni mgenuine. Usi why change royako because you are a giver. Now you are changing because of people. Continue doing good, but look for genuine cases. Isu genuine cases inafungulia gamtu milango sana. Ata isa hawa wa sherati uku. 
Hiyo pesa yao yako ndio inaenda kununua super gonori yako unataka kuita kusaidia. But when you touch lives out here like a genuine case. Uh, I've experienced it. Mtu tu anaweza kuambia mimi nimekwama mahali nini nisaidie. Unatoa tu hata hata si pesa nyingi unatoa like 500 bob and you help someone even 200 bob na unaitiwa deal kubwa unakutatuma biashara zinakuja zikikugongea mlango zikikuita x x hebu kucha kuna biza hapa unashindwa eh, kweli god nimekufanyia nini na deserve upoa na unakuta kuna mtu anaweza msaidia hata unajikamua matumbo yako yote unamwaga nje you just help this person but hakuna kitu una get Do you know why because huyu mtu ata ni very ungrateful hebu notice the people you give your money to there are people who uki share na wao milango yako inafunguka because those people are grateful every time wanaenda mbele za Mungu anaambia thank you god manze kasi so and so leo ningelala nja na umetacha life somewhere so uh, know how to separate wheat from chaff uh, another thing this is 2023 we saw how corona like ilitutandika mbaya because like, ili ninyorosha mpaka nikapata akili So how I wish that you would spend uh, better stop overspending stop spending your money on useless things wacha ku compete na scammers huku wacha ku compete na <laughs> na kila mbare huku wacha ku compete na watu ambao wana, 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 wanauza pochi la biashara wewe wezi compete wacha ku compete na wezi huku huku nje mwizi anasema pewa kitu roi napenda anakanyangia hivi anakuambia mimi niko crypto inaitwa cryptocurrency ama inaitwa nini clitori clitor currency Stop competing with people that you don't know where they get their money from. We just live your life in your lane, on your lane. Ah, utawaita seka nani? Ishi kulingana na means zako. Wewe uko unapata mshahara ya 20,000 na unataka kukunywa pombe ya ya 5k. Hmm? Wewe uko mshahara yako ni ya 30k na unataka kuishi kwa nyumba ya 25,000. It doesn't work like that. So this year wacha tukue smart kiasi tujichanue tujichune hizi ni vitu mimi nimelaana mimi napenda soft life ai mimi napenda soft life <laughs> napenda soft life but kuna vitu lazima nipunguze lazima nikat niache kununua vitu useless mimi kwa sababu kitambo nilikuanga shughuli kama zile nilikuwa na via tu mwoba yani zuri akata itoshe at the end of the day naangalia hizi via tu zote na shindwa sasa hizi via tu zote nza nini unakuta like within like six months umeva kavi atupe ya tatu tuko hiyo shuraki yote mashindo hizi zote ni za nini nikajua ni ujinga na ni ushamba nilikuwa mshamba acha kuambia unajua kwa mshamba unanunua gavi tunapupa na mbwe mbwe acha ninunua hii inaonekana ya mwoko you know to kweni mshamba <laughs> nowadays i only buy what i, I need ni hichi kiatu tunanunua nitavaa kweli ama ni kile nitakuwa natembea kama mbuzi ambaye amekwa sticker ya lana hapa nyuma mm -mm, this one i can't so i'm not buying Right now I have like I think maybe 10 or 13 pairs only only sinunue kitu ambacho unajua sitava hivyo so another thing <laughs> ah, where am I laughing niliwandikia notes <laughs> ah, ah, oh then it is important to kwa nini nilikuwa nimesahau we this one itawadunga but learn how to respect people regardless of where you met them of the circumstances of the situations of their caliber of their uh, income wajifundisha tukuheshimu watu respect people out here kuna watu wengine saa hizi umekosa hata kazi ama umekosa kuitwa mahali kwa sababu kuna mtu ulimit mahali vile alikuwa amevaa ukampatia kaheshima kadogo alafu ule jamaa mwenye ulikuwa nasikia watu wakimuita eh mkubwa Ah boss, buda boss. Eh, eh tajiri. Huyo ndo ulikuwa namwagia sifa zako na heshima zako zote. Ukamwabudu kushinda vile unamwabudu Mungu wewe. Sasa hizi ule mtu ambaye ulikuwa namdharau kwa sababu ulikuwa una ujui kama utapatana naye mahali fulani. Aibu imekuja. Unashindwa hata vile utaomba kazi. Utaomba connections. Jifundishe kuheshimu watu. Kila mahali unaenda. Mimi slogan yangu kila siku nasemaga ile heshima ambayo unapatia uh, janitor it is the same heshima unapatia CEO mimi ndio fuck you are nita heshima kila mtu uh, eh, yani equally sina ile ubaguzi ati yeye huyu sasa ni nani huyu ati eh, yani sina hiyo maringo watu ambao wananijua kwa karibu wanajua mimi najua kuishi na kila mtu nikipatana na mtoto nikipatana na muzi nikipatana na konma nikipatana na <laughs> mtu uh, pasta najua kubalance 
nimejua kujifunza ku balance shobo i respect kila mtu equally hiyo ni kitu itakupeleka mbali heshima heshima itakupeleka mbali sana heshima inafunguaga milango ambayo ai mimi acha nikwambie just learn to respect people it goes a long way ile uto unasikia ile tu discipline kidogo hapa na pale mwagilia chumvi kidogo ya ka respect hapa na pale heshima eh, inakupeleka mbali inakuvusha madaraja makubwa inakufungulia milango mikubwa inakufanya una rub shoulders na the who and the who's learn to respect people usipate mtu pale anafagia ukafikiria ni janitor huo anaweza kuwa ndo boss boss ambaye ni wale maclean freak Eh kila sisi ambao tuko na usijia tutaki kwa malipa chafu na mkuta ameshika mopa na mop mai ukamdara ukafikiria huo ndo janita huo ndo boss huo ndo enda kupa kazi huo akanyaga wakanyaga kanyaga hapo na vihili vyako ukienda interview jifunze kuheshimu watu siku zote katika daraja yote katika yani mahali popote ambapo utaenda learn to respect people always usiangalie mtu amevaa vipi usiangalie mtu anakaa vipi Eshimu napenda kila mtu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kuna kitu cha mwisho. <laughs> Kuna kitu cha mwisho ambacho tunafunga nacho. Mwaka huu hichi nitawafunza. You are teachers will not teach you this. This one you will you not be taught in campus. Ah, you like you like at a skip. <laughs> Hii hata pasta at a skip. Hmm? Hii hakuna mtu atakufunza. Wacha nikufunze leo. Jifundishe kutumia grease. Wacha grease ni nini? <laughs> Grease ile milango grease inafungua ndo bado grease inafunguaga. Grease ili tu paka mate iteleze. Hii ni kitu ya kulaini ya kulainisha. Hmm? Karibu nisemaye ya kulainisha. <laughs> Ilikuwa kisumu. <laughs> Kula kulainisha. Hmm? Eh, hii ni kitu inalainisha mambo. Na ilikuwa wewe umengojea passport yako for six months. Na nikwambia passport inafaa kumaliza hata mwezi. Who told you? Lakini kwa sababu you are stingy as. Eh? Wewe juu stingy umekataa kutumia grease. So passport yako iko hapo vilala miezi sita. Passport yako kutu mahali tu pale kwa meza. Ili malizika ni wewe ujue kutumia grease una akili. Grease needs a lot of wisdom. Hmm? Needs a lot of wisdom kujua kutumia grease. Unajua grease ni nini? Saizi umepatana na afisa wa traffic pale amekusimamisha. Tumia grease. Eh? Tumia grease. Salimi habari mkubwa jambo, uko salama. Hivi ndio mtu anaanza kunvazeshwa. These people watakusimamisha hata wakati una makosa. Hata pata afisa wa traffic anaangalia gari yako una makosa. Hizo lazima ilipa. Kila hata belt umefunga uko karibu kujichok nayo. Hata kwa uh, vile umemwamkua, atakwambia hey, madam, hii gari yako haina shida. <laughs> kila kitu wapi mask and then you'll both love us ah bado corona hakuna eh sasa si mtoe chai kidogo ya ya wakubwa hata tu tunyoroshe ko that 100 bob will not even cost you anything hata so mbili mfinyie ka kitu hiyo sio hongo hiyo inaitwa grease unaona vile unajifanya kama mjeuri kusimamisha au unaona wewe unajua sheria na kanuni za barabara kila kitu i'm not over speeding i have a hiyo ndio imekuchelewesha hapo Unaona ile meeting ulikuwa na why? Investor ana the whole day. You think people have the whole day to wait for you or oh, you know I was caught in traffic. I was doing any uh, they took me to central. People don't have that time. They don't have that time to wait for you. So you will end up losing like some important deals. As I was saying, you, you will end up losing uh, some important deals because you don't know how to use wisdom and grace. Eh? uko pale umechelewa hapo contract imeenda eh? investor alishaishia bwana ana hiyo time yote na ni kitu ingekuchukua tu sekunde mbili pale ku, kugotea afisa wa traffic kumwacha gachai kadogo tu hiyo sio hongo hiyo ni grease unaenda kwa hizi public offices these people are very corrupt i know i, I know my, my friend i know how corrupt these people are but at least it hongo tengeneza tuko ile kalamu inakusainia hizo documents zitoke haraka iongezi ya wino kidogo salimia mtu na na, na, na grease pa, ile grease inasaidia hata akisaini document yako anasaini haraka haraka <laughs> inaitwa grease hiyo ndo maana imefanya documents zako azichalala pale unaona unaona passport yako sasa ungekuwa Singapore lakini uko hapa Gibraltar <laughs> haujui kutumia grease wewe una akili wisdom wisdom nice hongo i know it's your right 
we voted for these people because we needed change. Ah, we are in Africa, my friend. We don't have to be in Africa. We don't have to be in Africa. We don't have to be in Africa. to these African countries. We don't have to be in Africa. We don't have to be in Africa. We don't have anaangalia homo wake ya mwanafunzi mtoto wako ana anakujulisha na kuambia mtoto wako leo hajakuja shuleni leo amekuja kuchelewa we mtoto wako alipitia kwa boyfriend ana wiki mbili hajaganyaga shule hakuna hata mwalimu mmoja imeokaa to them let me call these parents nijue mbona mtoto aja kuja shuleni kwa sababu wewe unasema ni imelipa school fees ni jukumu lake kumwangalia mtoto wangu wewe imeandikwa wapi we wapo ni wapo ni wapo ni simu afrika eh wapo simu afrika eh inaitwa Greece. Hichi ni kitu utafunzwa na mtu yote shuleni, lakini jifunze kupaka hiyo mafuta. Again, wacha ni kukuwa stingy huku. Huku nje. Hiyo ndo maana inafanya mimi hata kuna watu wakinipigianga simu na jifanya niko busy na kuma eh eh. Hebu e, kata kidogo nataka kufunga fridge. Eh kata ka, kidogo ninaumwa na shingo. Eh can we meet on Tuesday? E, on Tuesday nitakuwa naumwa na kichwa. Hmm? On Tuesday nadhani mguu wa kushoto utakuwa umevunjika kabisa itakuwa stembei. Eh? Yaani na critics kwa sababu I know we ni stingy. Yaani wewe hata mtu akikuja kukumit hiyo ni ku waste time tu. Jua kuna kitu ya maana tutaongea those sweet night things. You tell me how beautiful I am which I already know. Buying alcohol that I don't drink. Eh? Ulio nyama yako hapo ya pale bypass ni kuje ni fure tumbo ni kwa bloated. <laughs> I learned kwa mbaya mbaya. <laughs> But ni kweli jifunze ni kutumia grease na grease na kuchanga na wisdom kuna mahali ukifika yani huyu mzee amekubo but just smile love it out hiyo ni to grease eh amta hakuna mtu atakufunza hii so hii 2023 ukianza kutumia grease mambo yako itakuwa yanaenda faster faster umefika kwa hoteli kwa ofisi fulani unataka kitu faster 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 mambo yako yana itakuwa yanakwenda mbio Unajiuliza kwa nini mambo yako kwendi mbio? Wewe umechukua gari, umenunua gari kutoka Mombasa. Sasa hii una wiki tatu bado gari jefika Nairobi. Wewe kutoka Mombasa mpaka Nairobi hapa gari tu kale ka vits kako kadudu. Kameshindwa kukufikia hapa yule. Hm? Grease mtu wangu. Mambo ya, yani ukikuwa mtu wa Grease mambo yako atakuwa anafanya mbio mbio speed speed. Ah hii ni ya yule mada ah chap chap. Hii ni ya mtu chap chap yani mambo yako atakuwa anakwenda kwa kasi. Ndio nakwambia yani hivyo Grease. <laughs> a happy 2023 2024 i hope tutakuwa tumejifunza vitu vipya tutakuja hapa tena tujifunze upya kwa kuwa mimi kila siku acha nikwambie every day is a learning experience it's a learning process we get to learn uh, new things each and every day we get to meet new people hata unaweza jifunza kitu kwa mtoto mdogo be observant mazingira yako yakoje uko wapi hata yani hata ule mtu wa chini kabisa unamdharau anaweza kukufunza kitu So kila mahali uenda hapo make sure umetoka umejifunza kitu. Mimi nimejifunza vitu vingi kwa watu, nimejifunza humility. Nimejifunza kuheshimu watu. Hicho si kitu nimejifunza iti jana. Mimi naheshimu kila mtu kutoka kitambo nimefunzwa tangu totoni. We I grew up. Yaani ni kawaida. Lakini kuna vitu vingine ambavyo naenda nikijifunza kila siku. So each and every day is a learning process. You get to learn something new each and every day. 